Testing. Testing one, two. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. Um, welcome to part two of today's two-part stream for server update reasons. Here we are at Fair and Keep. We're continuing with the main storyline, I think. Ah, see, this looks more like the Crucifixion Woods right here. It's a lot nastier than it was up there, isn't it? We got, oh man, this, it straight up sucks around here. Wow, what a change in scenery, though. I mean, I can show you. I wonder if we can see this. Hmm. Nah, never mind. But, you know, up like where the crabs are and shit, the swamp doesn't look anything like this. And this is a poison swamp. So, let's take the appropriate precautions. Let's put on our poison bite ring, which will put us just over, unfortunately. So we'll have to downgrade our gloves, I guess, to... These will do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these, these are about as good as we can do, I think. And we also need to get in our quick access inventory our poison moss, of which we have one, which is unacceptable. So, before we begin our foray into this area, we are for sure going to want to get some poison moss. Oh, wait, no, we got some. All right, cool, we're good, we're good. So let's begin our foray into this area without further ado. Um, this way first, I guess. Ah, this is sticky. That doesn't look good. Iron flesh. Hmm. Maybe this is the Great Swamp. And we never actually visited the Great Swamp in um, Dark Souls 1. It's a common misconception that the area below Blight Town is the Great Swamp, but it's not. It's different. It's just part of Blight Town. Just observing the uh, poison effect that we have here, it's not horrible. These guys still cause curse nastiness. So we'll have to be a bit cautious. And the fact that we're in a swamp also makes it not super fun, because our mobility has been decreased by the stickiness of this gross-ass landscape. I need to be using my bow, is what I need. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Retreat! Maybe a little faster. Oh, he's such an asshole. Right in your real eye. Those little uh, googly things on their heads are not their actual eyes. It's tough to see, but their real eyes are just above their mouth. They look a lot more sinister when you look at their real eyes, not their uh, other ones. Shit. Stop it. Not too bad at range. We're just gonna take it nice and slow. Not gonna take any unnecessary risks. Not gonna play around with our meter. Don't wanna get cursed. Just don't want it. Don't want any part of it. Don't wanna be there. Don't wanna deal with it. So we're going to not have that happen. Seems like rolling to the side is the best, because that's more of like a vertical spray. If you roll forward or backwards, you're going to be uh, caught in the cloud. But as I said, it's mostly vertical in relation to the uh, point of attack. Well, I sure hope there's a reason to come over in this corner. 
There's no reason to come over in this corner. But there is a reason to go over here. Right? Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Still closed. These trees are just disgusting. They've got, like, boils on them from the uh, exposure to the swamp, I guess. And then these guys are the reason it's called Crucifixion Woods. What the fuck is that? It's not human, is it? It's got... almost like a horse head. Strangely enough. Is that a hand stick? Ah! Oh! Terminator! This guy got T2'd! High five, bro. Can we give him a high five? Let's see. That's so silly. <laughs> um, there. Sort of. Not quite. Grim end, though. Grim end. Luckily, our character doesn't seem to sink into the swamp. He just kind of goes really slow. I see one of them. Make that two. And what the fuck is that in the background? There's some bad shit that way, man. That was a mistake, sir. Yeah, that's right. Back away slowly. Shoot you out of the air. It's like even rolling forward is good. Well, so that, that text just, like, punish... It's meant to punish you for just going backwards, it seems like. But yeah, we've got some... There's some shit going on. Look at that thing. That is cool. I wonder what's up with the, uh, dangly sacks from the trees. Maybe I should try attacking one and see what happens. There's one right here. Try up, and then left. Okay. Yeah, I see all that stuff. I just don't know how to get there. Anyways, um, right. Dangly sacks. Just part of the landscape. These, uh... Little, like, metal posts that have, um, blades on them. They kind of look like enemies just at a glance. It kind of puts you on edge. There's a lot of them. Repair powder. Nice. Whoa. Treasure zone. The other one's following me. Their uh, bellies seem a bit more red than they did in past games. Your movement is not restricted here because the water's not deep. It's nice. I like this. This pleases me. Right, let's get some loot then. I thought that this is a staircase going up, but I think it's just shrooms. Yeah, confirm shrooms. Um, let's see. Anticated skirt, gloves, and dress. Any uh, lore on them clothes? Let's see here. Anticated dress. Dress sewn in a long lost fashion. The elaborately embroidered ivory colored silk is imbued with ancient magic power. Never intended for battle. I have a feeling that that item is a reference to Demon Souls, but I don't know that for sure. I never played the game. I just know a little bit about it. I know that there was a maiden that was in a swamp. Also, possibly worth noting. What's the point of this? Just a little death trap, huh? Cool. Try up, and then left ahead. Yeah, I'm just wondering how I get up there. Oh, hey. There's a path that way. That I totally missed before. Let's see. Still staying away from that giant tree thing. As much as possible. Hello. Right. 
I don't know if I like what you're about. I'm like a pound the ground based enemy. Right. So that's pretty gross. He's got. Oh shit! God damn it, I wasn't even paying attention to my health. Because, ah, uh, the poison! The poison! Shit. God damn it. It's a long trek back over there. Ah. I don't think I've ever died. Cause that's the danger, isn't it? With, um... With, like, a slowish poisoning effect like that. Is that you start to take it for granted after a while, and you just don't fucking care, because it's not really munching a lot of your health. And then next thing you know, like that, you just fucking die. Uh, death by negligence. Really unacceptable. Let's try, since, you know, we're gonna kind of take the same path. Let's kind of hug the left wall this time, just to kind of maybe get a little bit of a different way through here. So I'm wondering if that enemy we just fought is, like, one of these things. It's kind of hard to tell because of all the horns and growth and stuff that was on him. I wonder if they still drop uh, those eye things. That are, they were used in Nito's Covenant back in the day. The Grave Lords. Eyes of Death, I think, is what they were called. Ooh, this one's feisty. Oh, there's two. Confirmed two. Save Miyuchi. There's more than two. It's just getting bad over here. Let's stop moving forward. No, 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 no! Fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. You stay the fuck away from me, dude. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, weird play. I'm on the edge! Not in the good way, either. Fuck, fuck, shit, fuck, 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 shit. Alright. Step one. Take a drink. So you don't slow poison to death. I really don't want to encounter any more of those things until my meter goes at least to a quarter. At least. Alright, here's where we were before. Gotta recover. Go ahead and take some moss. Get our Uchi out. Grab some shit and then handle this guy while he's standing up. Ow. Oh, that does hurt. <laughs> I guessing... I guessing. I bet it goes around shields pretty well, too. that. Ah, fuck you, man. Brutal. Okay. Difficulty becoming more difficult -er. At least we died to an enemy that time. Kind of sad I wasted a, a moss clump, though. need to use backstep there. I got a feeling that using backstep is a great way to get away from that leaping attack, because you know, you get in that situation, and he jumps up, and you're either like, alright, that's obviously gonna miss, or you're like, oh shit, what the fuck am I gonna do? And I think, instead of just saying, oh shit, what the fuck am I gonna 